Hi everyone, I'm Julian from BehindTheAudio.com and today I'm sitting down with Gareth Coker who you probably know for his uh, soundtrack for Ori and the Blind Forest. Uh, Gareth, thank you very much for being with us. Oh, it's great to be here in Germany. Uh, I'm loving it so far and hopefully it will continue. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah, on the topic of, of foreign foreign countries, uh, you, you lived uh, all over the, <laughs> the world it seems. How, how did that come about? Partially, at least at the beginning, because of my father's job. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, my father's job took him to many parts of the world. Um, he st started in England, then moved to the Netherlands, then moved to Baltimore on the east coast of USA, then back to Netherlands, then back to England. Um, but while my family was moving around, I was in boarding school, so I was always in England. Okay. Um, so 36 weeks of the year, I'm in England, and then just for the main holidays, Christmas, uh, Easter, and summer, that's when I would go home. So and home was always somewhere. Or home else. was home was either Holland or Baltimore. Okay. Or, or it was somewhere else. Um, then after I finished uh, school and university, um, after I finished university, I just I realized I wasn't ready for life as a composer. <laughs> okay. Um, and I decided to do something completely different. I think it's good to travel when you're young and you don't have any commitments mm -hmm. and uh, ties keeping you in one place. So I was like, okay, let's teach English in Japan um, because it means I can I can live, I can get I, I can get pretty good money to to teach English. I don't need a special qualification to teach English I, because you are always in the room with a Japanese. Japanese teacher, oh, um, so that you always you're always sharing the class with them. Um, and I originally was only going to stay for one year, but I really enjoyed it. I, so I stayed for three. Um, I saved a lot of money, and uh, that set me up to go to the University of Southern California. Mm. Um, and that's when I really started my music career. Um, one of the other things I found while I was in Japan was how much I loved doing music. Okay. I kind of. Because I've been doing a lot of music for my whole life up until that point. And my education at the Royal Academy of Music was, which is where I went to university, it was a good education, very technical, mm -hmm. but no preparation for real life. Okay. So my time in Japan was my real life preparation <laughs> because different culture, different work environment, different job. I learned so much about myself, but I also learned how to work with other people. Mm -hmm. And because I knew I was leaving, even if I caused some problems, and I wasn't perfect, but if it, the problems won't follow me to my new career. Uh, so, <laughs> it was um, a great playing field to do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was, it, was just, it was just getting me ready. And just, uh, the main thing about Japan is their entire culture is uh, everyone works for the benefit of the group. Mm, that's true. Um, whereas in, especially Western countries, the individual, you, you're encouraged to express your individuality. Mm. Um, and that's good. Both are good. Um, sometimes I wished my students would be more proud of their achievements, the mm. ones I taught in Japan. Mm. Um, but at the same time, when the group is benefiting, that's very similar to making films. It's very similar to making games. Sure. So, and, and then the whole can become can become better um, and you're all trying to make the overall product or whatever you are working on uh, better rather than like how can I do the best at my job it's more like how can I do the best at my job and help you to do the best at your job mm -hmm. um, and that's something I've tried to take into my music career. Hi I'm Julian from BehindTheAudio.com for more audio news subscribe to our channel and check out our website